Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Real Flight Simulator, one of the most popular flight simulators you can download for your mobile device. I mean, as you can see right here, it's number one on the charts. I mean, why is it uh, listed under racing? What kind of a racing game is that one? No, I mean, there is a simulator category on the app, uh, whatever. This is RFS Real Flight Simulator. Now, this interesting flight simulator that you can, by the way, download for, you know, Apple and Android for around a dollar here is known for one thing is especially and that is putting out updates see i can probably make videos about this flight simulator every single month because they are so crazy on the i mean we can <laughs> this one is a brand new one released one day ago a new aircraft the beluga xl and oh yeah we're gonna have some fun today but no seriously they're adding so many things pretty much every week gee new aircraft they had the q400 i could like seriously make a video every single month about these up let's 747 8 what? The thing is, these planes are not even bad, right? And so it's time for a little bit of a refresh of what this flight simulator is, how good it is. Let's just open it. Again, downloadable for a dollar. And here we are playing it on an iPad for maximum performance, and uh, we are greeted with this right now. Pretty much a prompt to get the RFS Pro subscription, everybody. That's around five bucks a month. If you do not have this subscription, you have no access pretty much to anything. You only have like three planes. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and actually buy the subscription, honestly, because we do want to try out the new Airbus Beluga. All right, so <clears throat> a minute and five dollars later, we're now with a pro subscription. All right, let's go ahead and press fly now. Uh, here we have a lot of aircraft. For example, we have some new ones like this one, the A319, 19CO? I, I thought it would be called Neo. What? I hope that's not a typo, but what is actually new is, of course, this one right here, the A330-700L, the Beluga XL, everybody. Yeah. Yep, this interestingly ugly Beluga XL, of course, a modified version of the A330, meaning that, well, it's gonna have uh, some butter landing capabilities, because, you know, we all know the... Can we, can we take off? Come on. Here we go. We all know the A330 and its beautiful landing gear. You know, when it lands, it looks absolutely beautiful. And the same thing also is with the Beluga. We can just take off and just really see what this landing gear looks like. This is the most interesting thing. Look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely going to be smooth today. Now, we are right now taking off from Frankfurt Airport. As you can see, we have wonderful 3D buildings and lights and, well, clouds in the background as well. Even trees are here implemented. Yeah, I mean, overall, here from the graphical features that this flight simulator has, it's probably the best one here that you can get from mobile. Again, trees, absolutely magnificent satellite scenery. I mean, I live here and I just know that this is exactly what you would see here when taking off from my 18 of Frankfurt. This absolutely looks good. Even though I do have a little bit of a problem with how the planes themselves look. I don't know. It's just always been a little bit of a complaint for me, but especially here in this flight simulator, Beluga looks even uglier than the real Beluga. I mean, hey, look, look, you can really see, like, for example, the... It doesn't look absolutely perfect. And, you know, other than that, we have things that we kind of take granted for flight simulators. We can fly, of course, worldwide. Right now, I have planned a flight from Frankfurt to Lukla. We all know Lukla. We can spawn into Lukla with the E330. I mean, that's going to be a stupid idea. All right, so this is what Lukla looks like here near the Mount Everest. This looks nothing like the real airport. Come on, you guys could improve that one at least. Jesus Christ, that is absolutely messed up. Great, but no, really, this flight simulator, I mean, it can, at least the fact that it can fly here and there's actual mountains also with a little bit of satellite scenery is quite good enough. Now, the other thing that this flight simulator has is, of course, a multiplayer community, which is probably going to be quite scary. All right, let's just try to switch to zero to... Thousand. We can join either as ATC or pilot. Okay, actually, this is this is looking really good. That's like the weird thing about those mobile flight simulators. You know, the multiplayer is done so much better than the actual like Microsoft flight simulator or the X plane flight simulator. It works pretty well out of the box. That's uh, interesting. Another plane that we haven't actually checked out yet is of course the 747-8 that we talked about that came out a few months ago. And let's plan a little bit of a route. For example, we have LAX right here, also with massive multiplayer. Okay, let's just start off. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, so welcome to LAX. The sky looks a little bit weird, but we're actually here to talk a little bit about the actual realism of this flight simulator. You know, whether you're able to interact with the cockpits, for example. Here we go. Welcome aboard this pretty new 747-8 as well. And we, oh my God, what is that of a posture? No, what is that of a, that is not how you're supposed to sit in a pilot seat. Sit back, Jesus Christ. That is, that is making me quite anxious, if I'm being honest. I'm also see. Us? Oh, look how we are. This is like 
sitting right. I mean, you're flying a 747 around. You're supposed to be somewhat relaxed. What the hell? All right. Anyway. Oh, man. That's <laughs> Check out the cockpit a little bit. Man. Now, the thing is, we're not actually able to interact with this cockpit right here. As you can see, it's not very high quality either, all those knobs. There's no pressing around here in the cockpit itself. It's not a very interactive cockpit. So in order to actually, you know, use and fly this plane, you would have to use these buttons right here, which have pretty low resolution. Can you see that? That's a little bit weird. But here we actually have pretty well, like, simulated things. Now, for example, we have the doors here. We can open and close them. We can have the ground power unit actually attached. And look, look, look. We've just opened our cargo door and oh my God, someone has spawned into us here in this multiplayer. I should have probably not even gone into multiplayer. No, there's three planes inside of us. Can that be? I think there's three, there's three planes. That's what I'm talking about with the multiplayer, by the way. I don't really like playing with it. All right. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn on the plane here. We've got ACU, auxiliary. I think that's the auxiliary co cooling unit, I think, or something like that. I don't know. And here we have the aircraft systems. Let's go ahead and turn on the APU right here, the anti-ice. You know, that's pretty cool that we have things like that. The wipers can be turned on as well. Look at that. And of course, the engines. Let's maybe try to see if we can turn them on. There we go. Yep, that's working fine. Let's get a little bit of light party going on here. Okay. And the checklist. Oh, we even have checklists. We have checklists. Okay, I mean, these are not very complex here because this is a very simplified model here, right? And it's five simmer, but still, this is not all too bad. All right, so let's I maybe mean, close all them doors and get going. I, I, I kind of like the realism of this flight simulator. Like, of course, we're not, you know, expecting X-Plane kind of realism, but this is not even that bad here. All right, but let's just get the ground power unit off right here and let's just go ahead and push back right here. Nice. I know we've got an ATC come oh. Contact tower. Ah, no, we're not going to communicate with ATC. You know, see, this is the thing they're trying to be actually like properly. Oh, damn. Okay, I've never actually experienced this here in the multiplayer, but we are actually getting screamed at for not connecting properly. All right, let's go ahead and proceed here. Okay, we would have to check out. Uh, that's crazy, man. Damn, departure runway zero. Okay, this is actually like a proper ATC model. I like this. And oh, we've got some ghost things. Ghost play. Go oh, oh, ghost cars. Ghost cars. Ghost cars. See, that's real flight simulator. No, of course, I'm not a very daily user of, you know, mobile flight simulators because I have a big PC that can run Microsoft Flight Simulator, for example. But if I had no computer, then I would probably play games like this. Maybe even real flight simulator. This is really not bad. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this real video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.